Low-tech process-based restoration is a restoration technique and style that works to mimic natural environmental processes like beaver dams and log jams. Beaver dams have numerous environmental benefits, so building beaver dam analogs, a human-made beaver dam, works to mimic the natural environmental benefits of a beaver dam. Same with the log jam, they provide slow flowing water, increased various habitat uh, for aquatic species. So putting in a PAL, a post-assisted log structure, mimics uh, those great benefits of a log jam. Hi, my name's Emma. I'm a restoration practitioner with the BC Wildlife Federation. Uh, I currently work on our 10,000 wetlands project. I assist in project site scoping, so looking at sites and seeing if they're good for potential future projects. I also help out with monitoring, so looking at our sites before, during, and after the build to make sure we're hitting project goals um, and also building. So I help out the crew during builds, building BDAs and PALs, uh, part of our low-tech process-based awesome. restoration work. So before we were here, this site had eroded banks where the stream was flowing lower than the ground level, which limits the water's ability to connect to the rest of the area and reduces the amount of water that can be reached throughout the site. Ideally, you want a stream to meander, which means it goes in an S shape, flows around the site, but some of the site had water that was flowing quite straight. So one of the goals of PALS is to help promote the meandering. Uh, it could be built in the bank, across the entire channel, or in the middle of the channel, and kind of pushes the water to certain sides. So if you have a complex of PALS built, it promotes the meandering and increases the stream width um, to create more complexity in the stream, which is really important for aquatic species and increasing groundwater in the area. So, so far with some of our PAL builds, we have seen the water already um, being pushed towards banks that we're hoping to widen, which will increase uh, the stream flow in that area. So the PALs have definitely already been working. Uh, with the BDAs that we've built, Beaver Dam Analogs, they've worked to infill new areas with water, so areas with grassy sides of the stream channel. We've added water too, and that's great to already see the water widening the stream channel. Um, and those BDAs that we built downstream are already working to collect any sediment uh, that we mobilize in the stream when we build. And the sediment that's being collected by those downstream BDAs is gonna help to raise the stream channel bottom a bit and reconnect that area uh, with the wider uh, site. Uh, working with this team is a lot of fun. Uh, everyone on this team is super knowledgeable in so many different areas. I always learn so much. I feel very grateful to be a part of this crew. Uh, everyone has a very positive attitude, which is very important to have during long field days and long builds. Every day I'm out here, I learn something new, and uh, yeah, it's awesome to be able to share this hard work with so many great people. Um, I think the part of this work that has stuck with me the most is being able to be at a site during assessments when we're scoping for future projects and then coming out and doing some monitoring before we build and then building and looking to see like through the drone imagery the differences in the channel and the amount of water that's in the area before and after is something that's really exciting.